As a video editor, you need a box with tools because sometimes footage needs fixing. In this video, I'm gonna give you all the tools you need to bring even the worst videos back to life. Tool number one, the focus tool. So here I have a clip of a beautiful cat, but it's not entirely in focus, probably because of the sand in the foreground. Now, there is a super easy way to fix this, and that's by finding the sharpen effect and then dragging it to your cat video. Now in the effect controls, you can increase the sharpen amount. This will not only sharpen the face of the cat, but also the background, which we do not want. Before increasing the sharpness, move the player to the first frame of the clip. Then click the pen tool on the sharpen effect and go to the program monitor. In here, draw a mask around the face of your cat. Next, go back to the effect controls and increase the sharpness until the face of the cat is clear. Then play around with the mask feather to smoothen out the selection. To finish this fix, click the track mask forward button. This will track the cat's face and that way it will stay in focus beautifully. Number two, the AI RD video enhancer. This one uses AI to generate more details, upscale to 4K, remove noise or de-blur and of course much more. After installing, make sure you start the free trial. You don't have to sign up or anything. Once it's open, drag your clips into the panel and if you want, you can import more here. Imagine you have an old low resolution clip. To enhance it, Select it, open the AI model picker and choose the best one for the task. The mode detail is very good at denoising and deblurring. It's perfect to recover fine texture like hair, flowers, plants and you can upscale your video up to 4K. As you can see, this clip works really well on this little guy. The smooth model is perfect for shots with people, indoor lighting and basically general video enhancement. You can also upscale your clip four times with this one. The super video model works best in low light condition. It helps recover details in very dark scenes like night skies, dark interiors and so on. You can only upscale this one two times but that's fine in most cases. Now if you want you can also use some basic editing features like rotate, flip and crop to further enhance your clips. Frame interpolation will allow you to add more frames to your video. Perfect for if you want to slow down your clips and really create a slow motion effect without getting a choppy frame rate. And of course you can also denoise your audio. Now to export your video simply click export current to export the one you're working on or click on batch export to export all your clips separately. It is that simple. AI Artie, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. But now it's time for number three, object removal. Let's say you have this beautiful shot of a blue beach, but you want to get rid of the people in here because they ruined your shot. Let me show you how to get this done. Super simple. Hold on, alt and duplicate your original video one track up. Head over to the effect controls and click the pen tool to create a mask. Then in the program monitor, draw a mask around one of these guys. Then move the mask away to an empty spot in the water. Now in the effect controls, click the motion property and adjust the position so that it covers the person. Next, play around with the feather and mask expansion. And if needed, you can always animate the mask path. If you want to hide more than one person, simply duplicate the video again and since you already have a mask, all you gotta do is reposition the video to make it cover the second person. There you go. Just like they were never there. Fix number four, removing fisheye. Let's say you have some GoPro footage and you don't want a fisheye effect. Well, it's actually super simple to get a normal view. First, find the lens distortion effect in the effects library and drag it to your clip. Then with that clip selected, go to the effect controls. In here, decrease the curvature until the horizon becomes horizontal. That way it will look natural again and no one will ever know. Obviously you lose some of the edges, but in these use cases that's definitely worth it. Number 5. Fixing shaky footage. I cannot film without shaking, so that brings us to this footage. Let me show you how to fix it. Find the warp stabilizer effect and drag it on the shaky footage. Let it do its thing and in most cases your footage is usable again. Sometimes it does distort your video like with this cat clip but the less camera shake you have the better the result will be. Now it's time to learn 5 hidden AI tools in Premiere Pro. So to continue the lesson click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.